soil health, you know, isn't just one thing, it's like a system approach. I mean, for us, it's combining no-till, crop rotation, cover crops, and then planting like native grass species in our sensitive areas, in our wetlands, and our salinity areas, and along our watersheds, to try to make our land not only profitable, but sustainable for the future. It's a way to pull carbon out of the air and put it in the ground. And uh, carbon and organic matter are basically the same thing, so if I can pull carbon out of the air and put it in the ground, I'm making the soil healthier. We're not seeing the salt issues as bad. We're also not seeing the mud when we go in to plant. If you take care of the soil, it'll take care of you. How do we manage not only the native prairie soils, but how do we manage the crop ground to get our soil structure back to where it should be? That's the real challenge that we have. I think the first step is to understand and gain an understanding of what we're dealing with in the native prairie soils. Building a resilient soil, if it's wet, if it's dry, if it's cold, if it's hot, I want a soil that protects me in those situations or is able to handle those situations without costing me a crop. There's so many living things there and when you go out there and dig when, with the living cover, it just looks alive. You're gonna save money on the fuel, you're gonna save money with the fertilizer because that's staying where you put it. Long run, you're gaining yield because you're increasing the value of the land. It also helped our, our uh, workload issues. It, it allowed a better quality of life for, for me and my family, and as it turns out, it's a better quality of life for the soil. It's better for the cows as well. Diversity has always improves the biological health, um, and actually cattle prefer diversity rather than monocultures. We made a real push to involve our landowners uh, on, on, the, on the land that we rent and lease to, to get involved and to understand what we're doing. We have a pretty good crop rotation um, that we're happy with. We're trying to have the soil covered pretty much all the time, feeding the soil, so pulling carbon dioxide out of the air through photosynthesis and feeding soil microbiology, increasing our soil organic matter. It is accepting the responsibility to continue to so spread the word and to share the things that you've learned over the years, share the, the knowledge, the successes, the failures of what it's all about. It's about leaving it better than you found it. Long term, my kids talk about farming. They, they love being out here, you know, and I, that's up to each one of them if they want to do this or not. I hope one or two of them decide to come back and run the farm.